What up, man? You know what it is, your boy, Trendsetter Sense, and this is Chosen Journey. Got an icon in the building, <laughs> legend in the building, man. He took his time out to share a couple minutes with me right here on this Chosen Journey platform, man. The legend, Kirk Franklin. How you doing, good brother? What's up, doing? King? How Thank you doing, King? Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. Uh, Thank you. taking the time out. Um, Let's jump straight into a reunion tour. Mm -hmm. I was at your show a few days ago. Oh, okay, okay. So you came. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Thanks absolutely. For coming. One part I really want to point out, right? It was a segment where you sit down and you play the keys. Just a little bit of the keys, right? Just like two, a couple notes. Whole stadium just knows every word of every song. And then you just kept... You did it for about four or five songs. You just play a little bit of keys, and then it was kind of funny, like you told the crowd that you gave them a name of like an ATL choir, something like mm -hmm. that. You said, what was, how, what, what kind of feeling is that? That emotion when you can just play just a couple keys? It is humbling. It is the most humbling feeling, and it's, it is, it is, it is something that you want to be very just sensitive to like God's heart with to never make the assumption that God owes you that. Mm. That God don't owe you that, that those are his songs. Mm -hmm. Those are his moments and that all you are is just, you know, you're just a conduit. You, you're just a pen in the room, mm. you know, that he picks up and uses for his own glory. And so, you know, that's the posture that I try to keep. That's the posture that I try to pursue. And I don't want it to be anything more than that. Mm. Kirk Franklin's in the building, of course, this is Chosen Journey. Now, in watching the reunion tour, like, you're like the maestro of the tour, like the 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 the, the brain of the tour. Can you kind of dive into that? Like, is, is am I on point with that? Or how is that? How, how, how I'm is that? the little, uh, uh, what's the little? Uh, uh, the, the engine? The little jester guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just running around, you know. Uh, you know, you know it's, I think I'm the usher. Mm. You know, you know, you know, is I'm the usher at the church. I'm the, I'm the custodian mm. that, that I let you in. Got you. You know, so that you can see all this beauty inside, you know, right. the greatness of F Fred Hammond and Yolanda mm. Adams and Marvin Sapp, the Clark sisters and Kier Shed, you know. I'm the church janitor. <laughs> it's I unlock the door so people can come in. <laughs> yeah. Um, man, you know, for generations you've been able to connect <clears throat> to all generations, young people. Uh, you know, over 30 years, uh, you know, um, what has been the key to being able to just have this, I mean, I know what the key is, but I wanted to just hear what you, what, what, you, what your take is on it, as be, uh, of being able to connect to so many generations for so many years. Well, I'm blown away by it myself and don't really have an understanding. That's why I'm very clear that it is just the divine hand of the Lord's kindness. Mm. You know, there's, there's nothing... There's nothing that I can tell you that is going to impress you with any other information. Mm. That it is divinely just, just the Lord's kindness that I don't deserve, mm. don't, could, could never earn. And I'm just very humble by it and just, you know, just try to get out of the way. Because, mm. you, know, you know, just every day just trying to get out of the way. Wow. When, you know, we're speaking on different, the youth and the generations and the hip hop and, you know, it's like you, you're the bridge um, and the connection, you know, like, for example, uh, Glorilla just dropped her mm -hmm. playlist and, mm -hmm. you know, you're on that song. And, you know, I had T.I. on a couple weeks ago. We talked about Thank God, mm -hmm. um, you know, even with the Christian hip hop artist, your song with Trip Lee. Um, the list goes on and on and on, man. Can you kind of just dive into, like, your, you know, place in, 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 in when these young uh, hip hop artists and these young artists come to you and you know you guys collab and work together you know it is it is um it, it, it's it's still something i guess i'm trying to figure out really yeah 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 you know you know and 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 i'm just always you know grateful that people want to work with me you mm. know you know if, if if i could say that you know i'm always appreciative i'm, mm. I'm always appreciative and you know i'm always trying to figure out when when I'm invited, what I can contribute to, and what what do I lend to the moment um, mm. that that can either elevate it or inspire it, or can bring another uh, 
lane of idea consciousness mm. of of conversation and so you know just just always trying to figure that out mm. and so um, you know, there there is one. There's not one set formula for every individual. Gotcha. There's not one set um, response that I'm going to give everyone. You know, because there may be invitations that I'm not able to deliver something that is going to contribute something beneficial. Mm. And if I'm not able to, then I don't want to be in the way. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. So you know, talk about you know, like I mentioned, uh, Trip Lee and. You know, mm -hmm. um, Kendrick Lamar just mentioned Lecrae and D1 yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, 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 yeah. the rise of Christian hip hop. Um, what's your take on that? It's, I just think that 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 God will always uh, find a way to make us make Himself known, mm. and I think that it's very important to you know to try our best to not put too much emphasis on the vessel that is is coming through, but just the fact of you know that God's name is being mentioned, and and so. When that happens, I just hope and pray that we try to be good stewards of that moment. Right. Um, is there a scripture right now that sticks out the most with Kirk Franklin? Yeah, 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 yeah. One, one that is that is meat for me right now is Psalms one thirty. Mm. Um, you know, thanks be to God that He does not treat us as our sins deserve. Mm. You know, and when I think about that, that just resonates so deeply within me because, you know, what I deserve, is not what I receive, mm. and so. That is big for me to know that God has every right to respond to things that about me that are not perfect, but he does not respond to every action the same way. Wow. So um, we have the reunion tour. Uh, you executive produce things. So many things going on. Uh, after the tour, uh, what upcoming projects do we have? Is there something in the making? Mm -hmm. Is there an announcement? You know, we'll see. We'll, we will see. We'll just take it one day at a time, and and just you know, just just whatever the steps are ordered to do. We just want to be good uh, stewards of those steps. We just want to be really intentional. You know, I I <clears throat> don't ever want to be busy trying to impress as much as I am trying to be intentional about just hearing mm. and doing. Right. You know, I want to hear and I want to do, and so you know, a lot of times you'd be so busy trying to make it known that you're active and that you are plugged in mm. but that does not necessarily mean that that's the case right you know just because you are busy doesn't mean that you're being intentional mm. kirk franklin is here of course his chosen journey uh, what i like to do um at the end of my segments with each guest is uh, i like to have a salvation mm. um would you mind uh, yes yes um, yes the, this is yeah. iconic right here the iconic kirk franklin uh you have yeah. the floor you know, it, it is it is it is um, it is a a a major decision when you consider uh, who you're going to choose as a life partner, and when you talk about what your belief system is, is going to be wrapped in. You know, uh, is it just going to be those that are going to have philosophical ideals, or are you going to have an eternal perspective that you are built to live forever? Um, that the life that we see is not the life that we will forever know. Mm. And because of that truth, um, I believe that there is one way, that there is one door that gives us the opportunity to have life eternal. And that is with uh, the undeniable relationship with, with the Savior, Jesus the Christ. And Jesus the Christ, uh, historically, we understand that there's been a weaponization of that conversation, of that narrative. It has not always been the most beneficial, especially for people of color. But the Jesus of the culture is not the necessarily the Jesus of the Bible. Mm -hmm. The Jesus of the Bible is the savior of man's soul, never to be uh, used to weaponize or to criminalize the process that people are on. You will never be like him, but you will always have him. Mm -hmm. And so we will be transformed, we'll be renewed, we will be changed, but we will, will still live in these unredeemed bodies that will always fight against us. And that does not mean that you won't be saved. That does not mean that you will not have relationship. Uh, even the uh, transformed Saul to Paul says, oh, wretch man that I am, the good that I want to do is still what I don't do. And he had a physical experience with Jesus, Cap captured up into the third heavens, but still was a man when he landed, was a still man that was flawed and broken. So don't take your brokenness. That does not mean that you're not a believer. You can be a broken believer. And I, you don't have to be perfect to be able to still have a taste of eternity because we will only be like him when we see him. And 
if you believe that Jesus is the, uh, the Son of God, if you believe that he died on the cross for you, if you believe that he died for your sins, and if you believe that he shall return again, then you are a recipient if you confess those things and believe them in your heart of eternal life. Mm. Amen. The iconic Kirk Franklin, of course, trendsetter sense, and this is Chosen Journey.